Hey, hope you're having a good day. Uh, today we're checking out a new arrival. This is 76 Special Edition Trans Am. It's got a 400 in it. It's got that YA2 package. As you can see, it's black and gold. Come along today as we give you the grand tour. Go for a spin, plays with the bells and whistles, and jump back into 1976. Kicking things off up at the front end, I see this is the era of plastic bumpers. This particular set happens to be fitted very well. There are a couple minor stone chips down in the, the lower part of this front bumper, but they've been touched up. Don't look too bad. Love the honeycomb grill, that bird right here in the center, and on this Y82 special edition car. 76 first year that Pontiac ever did the special edition Trans Am. They got gold headlight buckets, big screaming chicken. Love the shaker hood. This is a full numbers matching car. That's engine, trans, rear end, all born with components. So we got the numbers matching 400, equipped with factory air conditioning, power brakes, power steering. Um, the AC has been converted to R134. This thing runs cool, runs smooth. Really happy little car. Now in 76, there's only 1,600 of these built. And this car, born in Missouri, a nice dry climate, there's no rust or rot, and this was a low mileage survivor. Uh, 21,000 original miles when it was restored. So looks very good, not many miles since restoration. Some new modern additions we like are these radial TA tires. This is a 25560 on a 15 inch wheel. These are those beautiful paint matched honeycombs, right lug nuts, right center caps, we dig that. We got a sharp looking tape stripe all over. We got our 50th anniversary sticker there. And take a look up here, the hood, fender, and door gaps are very nice. The glass looks clear, the top of the dash is beautiful. Slick sport mirrors, good gaps on the back of this door. Got our rear defrost. 275s out back, that's a good bit of meat, filling out those wheel arches. Really sharp looking stainless exhaust. Gorgeous tail panel, all the right graphics and stickers. Just behind here, we have our fuel fill and of course our trunk release. That springs right open. Not much going on back here. You see you got the factory space saver spare, factory quarters, clean looking fitment of the body around this drip rail. Underside of the deck lid looks great. Nothing bubbly or gross on the underside of that lip there. And the fitment of that spoiler and the deck lid overall is really nice. Now just what you'd like, the passenger side is equally as beautiful. No dense dings, very straight and clean over here. Great fitment. Door to fender, that gill again. Sharp looking car. All right, good smooth action on the door. Really good looking interior. Uh, door cards on both sides look to be new. That's awesome. We got a remote mirror over here. Gorgeous black bucket seats. Really nice and soft. I love the gold treatment the steering wheel and the dash bezel has. That engine turn finish with the gold. Bon Appetit, that is delish. Tack over here on the left hand side. Oil pressure, coolant gauge in the middle. And our badge for our radial tuned suspension and then just 21,818 original miles. Fuel gauge, voltmeter, a couple of vents for air conditioning, cigarette lighter, rear defog, um, AC controls. Our factory appearing, but modern radio there. Downstairs we have the eight track player, sharp looking console, power window car, center console. Clean, simple, everything it should be. Speaking of console, this car is equipped with one in the back as well. You can find that on the PHS report. Nice glove compartment. And you see there is a little bit of wear showing in this original dash pad. Headliner looks very good. Visors look good. Dome lights working. Have shoulder belts for the front passengers. Lap belts for the rear. Two speakers up on the package tray. Trim all around looks really great. All right, we're leaving the shop here. Super comfortable seat, really smooth running car. It's about a 90, de 90 degree day here in Michigan. Um, as you can see, it's going straight down the road. Just shifted in a second, all nice and smooth. God, steering feels tight. This is a good car, I already know it. Power brakes feel good. Making a right turn here, indicator light comes on the dash like it's supposed to. 
All of our gauges are working good. You see the fuel gauge moving as this fuel is sloshing back and forward. Cancels on its own. Man. Really crisp rumble out of the tailpipe. This thing has a pretty trick exhaust setup. If you're interested in knowing what kind of mufflers are up underneath this and what kind of system it is actually, you could check out the link down in our description and find out more that'll bring you over to the full listing on our site. We got a lot of other good info there too. Decide in the future you want to upgrade to a larger That's the gusto right there. Wow. Holes nice and hard, track straight, sounds good, shifts good. Hey, thank you guys for making it to the end. Couple of quick things before we go. If you wanna know any more specifics on this car, down in the description of each one of these videos, there's a link to view the full listing on our website. 100 plus pictures, pictures of the undersides, close-ups of the block stampings, the trans stampings, the PHS report, whatever you want, you might be able to find it there. And if you can't, call us up, send us an email, whatever. It's 248-714-2110 or inquiry at LaFontaineClassicCars.com. My name is Mackenzie. Thanks for tuning in, checking us out. We'll see you in the next clip.